Hey my friends! So today, I just wanna hop right into the video. I don't wanna to talk too much. Today, I am dyeing my hair jet black. I'm super excited. Um, the dye that I chose to use, which is the same one that I used last year, is Cream of Nature. This is what it looks like. Oh, come on, there we go. How beautiful is the lady on the box? She's so pretty. So we are using Cream of Nature. Um, the color is C10, it is jet black. And on the box, um, it does say moisture rich hair color with shea butter conditioner. So my hair right now is old. Um, it's probably like four or five days old. Um, and you want to dye your hair on old, sorry, you want to dye your hair when it's older, not when it's more fresh, because the oils that are in that naturally producing your scalp are gonna almost work um, to protect your hair when you dye it. So you do want to do it on older hair. Also, I have mixed my own special secret oil um so as i told you guys i will be every two months checking my hair growth because now i'm back into a growing process so i did mix my own little special oil so i've been using that on my scalp as well and on my ends so let's open up our box here and see what's inside so you do get um your 20 volume cream color developer looks like there we go and then we have here your moisture rich color which is jet black camera is not one. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then we also have, um, I don't know why box dyes do this, but we have our moisture rich hair color um, with shea butter conditioner. I don't, I don't need to hold this up to the camera. I want y'all to see real, like this is my hand. This is, this is the conditioner packet. <laughs> y'all tripping. <laughs> now, even though my hair is shorter, my hair is still thick. So this much conditioner is absolutely ludicrous. Um, <laughs> but I'm still excited to use this uh, hair dye because I've used it before. And I've actually bought four boxes. Four boxes. <laughs> I did buy four boxes. Let me hold up the other boxes. We're four boxes deep. Now the reason why I bought four boxes is because I could not remember if last was it last year, a year and a half ago? I can't remember. The last time I dyed my hair, I couldn't remember how many boxes I bought, and I think I had bought three. Um, but I was just way scared. I'm like, okay, well, I just really don't wanna run out as I'm dyeing my hair, so that's just done on that. So I'm just gonna quickly read the instructions here. I won't read them out loud because, I mean, they're really just for me. Unless you're watching while I'm dyeing your hair, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> so even, even though I've done this before, I still go ahead and read the instructions. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is cut this top off of our developer. Mm. Wherever that went. Now what you're gonna do, and also dye your hair, wear an old t-shirt, because unless you're like the most, you know, strategic person, I'll say strategic, it might get all over your shirt and you just really, it's not gonna come out, so don't get on your shirt. Um, and, yeah, we're ready to go. And it says that if you do get this on your skin, then just gently wipe it off. Well, I wish that it was the, this is like a different packaging, I believe, for them because the last time I had used this, you're gonna pour your hair color into your developer. And also, um, this this dye does say it's ammonia free, so lit. Um, but the last one I had, when you shook it up with your developer, you could actually see, like the, the bottle was like see-through. So I actually like that a little bit better because I could tell that it was like ready. First, gonna pour this in. This is our color. We pour in the whole thing. And I will tell you, that was the only thing I did not show you guys just yet. I need. Tell me this did not come with gloves. What? I will really lose my mind. Oh, I was about to go off. I really need to start shaking this. For some reason they put the gloves on it like this and like this. That was weird. So I'm gonna also open up the other box because I have on um, fake nails and my nail tech makes them extremely sharp. So 
I know it'll pop through one glove and also it's, it's gonna stain my nails. I know it's gonna happen. It's staining of the nail. So I'm just gonna double up on the gloves. I'm pretty sure it's still gonna pop through, but whatever. And with my first section, I'm going to show you guys the front sections and then I'm going to do the back in a different mirror just so that I can see what I'm doing because you don't want to have a, you know, um, blotchy back head. And even though my hair already looks dark, so a lot of people are probably looking like, why is she dyeing her hair jet black? I just have super dark brown hair and I love jet black hair. And um, also, this is a permanent color. I don't plan on dyeing my hair any other color because I'm not that adventurous any longer. <laughs> It's a wrap for that. I've, I've dyed my hair with permanent colors other than jet black before and it was horrible. I hated it. Um, but if you plan on dyeing your hair a different color besides black, do not do jet black because you cannot dye, um, you can't dye your hair when you have jet black color, you have to wait for it to grow out. So if you want to dye your hair a different color, use semi-permanent. All right, here we go. You can already see how this is starting to look way more black than this. That's how come I like to, I'm happy that I'm doing a video this time because you can actually literally see real time difference. And some of the benefits, or I would say like the, I always say like the surface benefits because I'm not a hairstylist, I don't know like the, what a real benefit of dyeing your hair jet black would be. But um, when I did have
let you get into development mode. And now we're gonna go on to our next section. There's still a little bit left in here, so I'm gonna keep using that. Deep conditioner here. I'll use a little bit of these, but I'm also going to use my own personal deep conditioner, which is a Shea Moisture product. I want to say it is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I think that's what it's called. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to come back and show you guys what my hair is looking like. Be right back.
Okay guys, I am back and as you can see, my hair is finally dry. So what I did, um, because I just dyed my hair, I didn't want to use a diffuser. So I let my hair dry overnight, which is what I usually do. Um, it usually dries a lot faster over the summer, but of course because it's colder, it's going to dry a little bit longer or take a little bit longer to dry. So I did wait overnight and here is how my hair is looking. I am extremely pleased with the, with the results. I'm going to show you guys the back. or until your water runs clear, but as you'll notice, your hair feels really, really stiff. So you wanna make sure you're pushing moisture back into your hair. So after this video, I am gonna do an updated winter wash and go routine because I am actually using different products. Holy crap. <laughs> and I said it to myself because I've been using the same products for like three years now. So this is my first time using a different leave-in conditioner and shampoo and conditioner and oil on my hair for the winter. So I'm really, really excited for you guys to see that. And right now my hair does not feel compromised at all. It feels super duper soft. I mean, almost even softer than right before I had actually dyed it, which is crazy. So my hair feels super soft. So I'm gonna give you guys an updated wash and go routine next week so you guys can see that. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure you share the video, subscribe, and keep sliding my DMs with video ideas because this video I actually did because a lot of you guys requested a video on me dyeing my hair and what products I use. So I'm really, really excited that you guys got to watch this and I will see you guys next time. Bye.